Welcome to Reformation and Revival Now, and this is our Love for Muslims prayer vigil. This is week three, even though really you don't have to do it in any particular order. I really made them so that you can do them in any order you choose. Our spotlight nation today is going to be Lebanon. But our prophecy or our prayer focus is according to the prophecy in Isaiah 19, 19-25, which promises that God will reveal himself to the Egyptian people. Now, the Egyptian people are predominantly Muslim at this time. So when God gave us his prophecy, that's the people who he had in mind. Let me read an excerpt um, of it for, uh, for you. It says, um, In that day there shall be an altar to the Lord in the heart of Egypt. There will be a monument to the Lord at its borders. It will be a sign and a witness that the Lord of Heaven's armies is worshipped in the land of Egypt. When the people cry to the Lord for help against those who oppress them, He will send them a Savior who, who will rescue them. The Lord will make Himself known to the Egyptians. Yes, they will know the Lord and will give their sacrifices and offerings to Him. I think that's very interesting. I want to make a statement that I really want to stick. Nobody comes to the Lord until God the Father, by the Spirit of God, reveals Jesus to a people. That's any people and that's any individual. I don't expect Muslims to serve the Lord because they agree with the Bible or I agree with the Quran. Absolutely not. The key to a Christian is not his beliefs. Oh, I know that's controversial. A key to a Christian is the revelation of Jesus Christ as Christ entered him as Christ revealed himself to that individual. And that's what we're talking about in the Love for Muslims of Prayer Vigil. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and get started as we will spotlight today on Lebanon. Let's pray for Egypt now, according to Isaiah 19, 19 to 25. Father, pour out your spirit, Lord God, in the Middle East, particularly in Egypt right now. Pour out your spirit, Lord God, and across the Egyptian borders, Lord, and into their monuments. Reveal to Muslim people, Lord God, all through Egypt, that Jesus Christ is Lord by touching their hearts, by granting them, Lord God, the revelation of grace, Lord, showing yourself to them as Savior. When they cry out to you, Lord God, you're hearing their cries. Even though they will come into great trouble and tests, Lord God, you will deliver them and show yourself to them. And then, Lord God, you will rise up, Lord God, and your spirit will fall, Lord Jesus, upon the Assyrian nations, Saudi Arabia and Lebanon and Jordan, Iran and Iraq and Kuwait, Lord Jesus, and Syria and Turkey, Lord. These nations will begin to experience the power of the gospel. But Lord, you will change hearts. You will form friendships. You will build a highway, Lord Jesus, a friendship between e Egypt and Syria. And Israel will be the third part. And they will come, Lord God, to a knowledge of Jesus like never before. And they, Lord God, will become, Lord Jesus, a part of an allyship ship that was prophesied. Father, we are speaking forth your word into this part of the 1040 window. And Lord, with power, we know that you are opening doors, Lord Jesus, for men and women of God to go into the Middle East and begin to share the gospel. And your anointing will be there. Your anointing will open doors, Lord. And we thank you that you have made Egypt. Because of this outpouring, you have made Muslims in Egypt your people. And you have made, Lord God, the Muslims in the Assyrian overlay nations your people. And also, Lord God, you have made Israel, Lord God, your people, your, your prized possession. And we thank you, Lord, that your word always gets results. 
So praise you, Lord God, and we thank you as you pour out your spirit of power, Lord God, right in the Middle East, making the love for Muslims prayer vigil, Lord Jesus, a part, Lord God, of what you're doing in the earth. And Father, I pray that you would give us, Lord Jesus, workers and prayer warriors for this ministry. In Jesus' name, amen. We're going to pray for our Spotlight Nation today, which is going to be Lebanon, which is also part of the prophecy of Isaiah 19, 19 to 25. For we lift up the nation of Lebanon today, Lord God, and I ask right now, Lord Jesus, that every person, Lord Jesus, living in Lebanon will begin to feel, Lord Jesus, something different in their lives. Right now, my God, in the name of Jesus, all through their land, all through their city and their countryside. Lord Jesus, no matter what's going on, Lord Jesus, begin to speak, Lord God, to the people. Begin to speak, Lord Jesus, into their religious centers and their mosques, Lord God, and their culture. Begin to appear, Lord Jesus, to precious ones, the families, Lord Jesus, in Lebanon. We pray, Lord God, for their children, Lord God, and we pray, Lord God, for their places of worship. We pray, Lord God, that you will begin to start revealing yourself to Lebanese Muslims, that the Muslims of Lebanon will begin to respond to you everywhere, Lord, in the marketplace, every adult, every child. We pray in the name of Jesus that they will begin to experience your power. Father, these are the sheep, Lord God, which were not part of the original fold. But now, Lord God, you have called them to come in. Knowing that, Lord Jesus, you were a minister sent, Lord God, to confirm the promises made unto Lebanon, and that the Lebanese, Lord God, might glorify your name for your mercy. That the Muslims, Lord Jesus, might begin to praise you when they experience divine revelation of you. And then your word says, Lord, rejoice, ye Lebanon Muslims, with all of his people. As Lord Jesus, you are revealed to them as you rise to rule and reign over the Muslims in Lebanon. In Jesus Christ, will the Lebanese Muslims trust? So we thank you right now, Lord of the harvest. We're asking you, Lord Jesus, to send forth laborers with anointing, with the baptism of the Holy Spirit, with signs and wonders, Lord, to begin to awaken, Lord Jesus, the people of Lebanon about the truth of the gospel, that they will begin to experience Jesus Christ. Lord of the harvest, we ask you, Lord God, to give us Lebanon as our inheritance. We stand in the gap for Lebanon, Lord Jesus, that they might know the power of Jesus Christ, Lord God, in churches, in mosques, in the marketplace, in families. Begin, Lord, to impart visions and dreams, Lord Jesus, all through the nation, Lord God. And now, Lord, we want to praise you because you are doing more than what we just asked. You are fulfilling your word, Lord God. You are fulfilling your word, Lord Jesus, as you take the gospel to the nation of Lebanon. We praise you for the results of your word, Lord God, and for your goodness. In Jesus' name, Amen. This is Reformation and Revival Now, and I'd like to welcome you to the Love for Muslims Prayer Vigil. This is our prayer tool. My name is Kevin Jones, and I'm here to teach you or to walk you through this tool to get involved in one of the greatest harvests of all time, praying for the Muslim people in that 1040 window, by which the prophecy of Isaiah 19 19 to 25 this whole ministry is based on i believe with all my heart that what you're looking at right now is our foundation the lord god sent his prophet isaiah to prophesy what would happen in these last days so i want you to get involved read it in your spirit time 
it will prepare you to pray with us. Then we will have scriptures that are spiritual warfare based that tells us our rights and privileges to be able to come against the powers of darkness. These dark forces like ISIS and other organizations are backed up by evil spirits. So we will be praying against that. And finally, we'll be taking our spotlight nation. We'll take a Muslim nation and we will pray for that single nation together. So I believe that this is a powerful opportunity for all of you. And I ask you to engage with us as we enter in to prayer. All right, let's pray for the Middle East now. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for Egypt. We pray, Lord God, according to your word, that you, Lord God, would pour out the divine revelation of Jesus. Father, we are calling out for the spirit of grace right now in Jesus' name. Lord, reveal yourself to the Muslims in Egypt. Reveal yourself, Lord, in power and in truth. Father, we ask, Lord God, that the visitation would begin now. Now is the time. Now is the season by which, Lord Jesus, Muslims come into the revelation knowledge of Jesus. And Lord, as you pour out your spirit in Egypt, Lord, and you reveal yourself across their borders and their monuments, let Jesus Christ come alive in the hearts of Muslim people. And Lord God, rise up, Lord God, in the Assyrian overlay nations of Saudi Arabia, in Syria, Iran and Iraq, and Jordan and Lebanon, as well as Syria and as far as Turkey. Pour out your spirit, Lord, and bring that revelation knowledge of Jesus Christ. This is the season, Lord God, for which you move in Egypt. And Lord of the harvest, we're asking you to fulfill your word of prophecy. That, Lord Jesus, a bond might form in the Middle East. That in Assyria, Lord Jesus, and Lord God in Egypt, and in Israel, that's the third part. You will form a relationship, Lord God, with them. A relationship, Lord, with each other. A relationship with these nations will come together, Lord, and know God and know Christ. And Lord Jesus, be friends, Lord God, for the world to see. Now is the time, Lord Jesus. Now is the season. We bind every spirit that will try to hinder this in the name of Jesus. Satan, we overcome you by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And Father, we thank you that your word is going forth with power now. Open up doors, Lord, of the harvest. Send laborers. Send people, Lord, that carry that anointing with them. Send people, Lord God, that are so filled with the love of Jesus Christ that no, Lord God, Muslim would be able to resist the love of Jesus that they're feeling right now. The love of Jesus, Lord, that they're being visited right now. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that something awesome is taking place even as we speak forth your word in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to spotlight today on the United States, for we have beloved Muslim people living here in our nation. And I don't want any of us to forget the responsibility we have for praying for Muslims right here at home. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up the Muslim people who reside in the United States. Father, first of all, we thank you for the Muslim people that you sent here. And we ask, Lord God, every blessing. But we ask you, Lord of the harvest, that you will begin, Lord God, to reveal yourself to Muslim people here in the States. Because you said, ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance. So we ask you, Lord, boldly for the Muslim nations. We ask you, Lord God, boldly for their salvation and for the revelation of Jesus Christ to go forward amongst them. Lord, right now in Jesus Christ, I block every spirit of evil, every spirit of antichrist, every unclean spirit that wants to try to block. We overcome you by the blood of the lamb and the word of this prophecy. In the name of Jesus, we testify that Jesus Christ is Lord over the United States. And now Lord, you are bringing Lord of the harvest the revelation of Jesus Christ to Muslim people. We ask that you would bless Muslim families, Muslim businesses, Muslims in politics, Lord Jesus. And we ask Lord, that, we, that you would cause the American people to accept them, 
but Lord God, we pray that they will accept Jesus when Jesus is revealed to them as Jesus is revealed to them, Lord, let their lives be changed by the revelation of Jesus Christ. Things that they never understood before, when they see Jesus, they have the supernatural understanding. Because, Lord Jesus, you said, Lord, that Christ came to be the minister, Lord Jesus, to confirm the promises made to the forefathers. And, Lord Jesus, that the Muslims in the United States might glorify your name for your mercy. Let them praise you and laud you, Lord, as the revelation of Jesus Christ pierces their hearts as you appear to them, Lord God. Let them praise you as they come to salvation. For the root of Jesse, Lord God, is now rising up to reign and rule over, Lord, the Muslim people by revelation in Christ will the Muslims of our nation trust. So Lord, I speak life to Muslims. I speak blessings to the Muslims in our nation. And I thank you for them, Lord Jesus. And I want to ask right now, Lord Jesus, for the children that you will begin to appear to many children, Lord God, and show them, Lord God, who Jesus is and reveal to them, Lord God, the simplicity of who Jesus is. We thank you, Lord God, that your word is going forth. We thank you that you're opening up the, open up the doors, Lord Jesus, for Muslims to meet true believers who will be able to share what they're experiencing. We thank you for your word right now, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, amen.